Hi everyone. So this is a story about improv filmmaking that I thought was kind of interesting because it really shows the value of improv uh, even on the biggest Hollywood movies. And I had heard this story in this documentary, George Stevens, A Filmmaker's Journey. And that's George Stevens, the great director of movies like Shane, Giant, A Place in the Sun, The Diary of Anne Frank. So back in the 30s, he was making a film, Gunga Dean, which at the time was the most expensive film uh, yet made by the studio that was producing it. And, you know, the company was out on location and uh, for some reason the production got delayed or, you know, shut down for a few days. And Stevens uh, had this crew of like, you know, ca it was like a cast and crew of like 2,000 people on the payroll. And rather than just have everybody sit around and, and lose that time, he decided to shoot an improvised uh, action sequence, a large-scale action sequence, uh, you know, improvising all of this uh, a, a, on the spot. And in order to do this, Stevens drew on his background working as a cinematographer for Laurel and Hardy. So before he became a director, Steve, and this was in, like the, in, the, in the silent uh, days, in the, in the late 20s, Stevens had been a cinematographer at the Hal Roach Studios where he worked with uh, Laurel and Hardy and where they made all their uh, you know, short slapstick comedies. And, you know, as was pretty typical in, in the silent days, there was a lot of improv with those films. Uh, you know, they would get on the set with just the barest outline of, a, uh, of an idea and then everybody would kind of start pitching in, uh, you know, ideas for gags and jokes and... and uh, that, that was kind of how the films would take shape. So, it, you know, Stevens, as the cinematographer, watched this process and learned a lot about improv and about, uh, you know, watching things kind of take place like that and ideas develop on the set and, and be put into action. So he drew on that when he was shooting this, this large-scale uh, action scene for Gunga Dean. And, you know, the advantage to that, of course, it's, I think it's one of the best scenes in the picture. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, but it also kept the production moving. So whereas, you know, another director might have said, well, you know, that's that, and you just you shut the production down for a few days, you're losing all that money, you know, you've got all these people out on location, uh, but nothing gets done. Stevens uh, was relying on his background, uh, you know, working with improv and uh, brought all of that to the, to the film and, and uh, you know, created this really uh, great scene uh, while they were waiting for the production to resume. And, you know, I just think that's a really interesting story because it shows that even on, uh, you know, a, a massive Hollywood blockbuster like Gunga Dean, uh, there is still this room for improv. So it's not just something that applies to independent films and low-budget films where it's a skill that I think we are in many ways, always drawing on, because there's always going to be obstacles and challenges that we have to find a solution to. But I think it's important to remember that even on the biggest uh, Hollywood films, improv is still a, an important part of the process. Anyway, I just thought that was kind of an interesting story that I wanted to share. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later.